If you'd like to know how to make it extremely easy to share your beautiful children's book with your launch team and help them provide you with their reviews for your book, this video is for you. Hi there, I'm Evie, an award-winning children's author and ghostwriter over on eviejones.com and the creator of Children's Book University. I create videos specifically for children's authors, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my weekly videos. Now, if you don't quite know what a launch team is, make sure you watch my separate video that I have created that shares all the details on what it is and how to create one. It's one of the biggest things we as authors can set up to make the launch of our children's book a lot easier. So I'll make sure to add the link to that separate video in the description below. This right here is one of those videos I've been asked to create many times. This is something I came up with many years ago and have been using for years. And it's something I've never seen done this way anywhere else before. So here we go. Whenever I launch a book, not so much for my own books anymore, but mostly for my ghostwriting clients, I create a very specific page for my launch team. This is a page that is usually only shared with the members of that launch team. Now, this will work whether you have your own website or not. If you do have your own website, perfect. If you don't have your own website, I'll provide you with a few different options toward the end of the video. Now, the goal of that special launch page is threefold. One, it is meant to personally connect with the launch team members and to share the new children's book in its entirety, depending on the book, in a way that doesn't take too much of the launch team members' time because most simply don't have much time, right? Two, it is meant to make it as easy as possible for the launch team members to get to your book over on Amazon, no matter where they are geographically located, so they won't have to go and search for our book. And three, it is meant to make it really easy for the launch team members to leave a review without having to figure out how and where to do so. So these are the three main goals for our special launch page that we try to accomplish with it. So let's look at the five main elements that we will want to make sure to include. The first element I like to add and that I like to have at the very top of that special launch page is a personal, very short video of myself. It's usually really just one to two minutes long where I welcome the launch team members and where I express my gratitude. Sometimes I also share just a sentence or two about the book itself, but I really try to keep it super short and concise. And again, the main purpose here of this video is to make it feel more personal and just to show how thankful we are for that person to take the time to come and support us and our beautiful book. I usually simply take my phone and record it that way and then either upload it onto YouTube as an unlisted video or over on Vimeo as an unlisted video. That way I can easily embed it and share it. The second element I like to add right below my welcome video are some words as to why I wanted to write this book or what made or caused me to write this book. This again is very personal, but while the video expressed our gratitude, this written part is a bit more about our book itself. Here I often like to add not to share this particular page with others since it's meant for the launch team members only. Now again, we want to make sure to keep it concise because we always want to be mindful of our launch members' time, right? And we also want to make sure we are presenting this written part in such a way that it doesn't seem overwhelming. So instead of one single big chunk of text, we'll want to make sure to break it up into smaller paragraphs or sections. That's really important. Less is always more. So that is the second element I like to include. The third element I like to add very much depends on our type of children's book. Because the books I write are usually quite short, I love creating read aloud videos of them. They are usually way below five minutes long and a perfect way to share my book with the launch team. Now, if your book is longer, perhaps you can simply share your favorite part of the book. That would work as well. You can really be creative here and make it your own. I will share an example of one of my special launch pages with you in the description below, so you can take a look yourself. But the way I usually create the short read aloud video is by using the pages or illustrations I'm using for my ebook or the created PDF file for my paperback and opening that in a two-page view and then recording my screen while reading it out loud. 
There are many different ways we can create such a screen recording, but my two favorite ways are via loom.com and also canva.com. At the making of this video, loom.com is absolutely free for screen recordings under or up to five minutes. And because we really don't want our read alouds to be longer than that anyways, it's a really great solution. Here again, I either use my ebook pages or simply open my created interior PDF file for my book, put that in two page view and record my screen while reading my pages out loud. Camera.com is an excellent solution as well. Here I usually use my ebook images and upload all those images onto Canva. I click the share button and then select the present option and then click on present and record. And then I read my pages as slides one by one. And the reason I like using my ebook pages for this is because those usually show my pages as double spread pages. And after I have recorded myself reading my book, I either upload it onto YouTube or Vimeo, making sure I upload it as an unlisted video so I can embed the link onto my special launch page without making it publicly accessible or searchable over on YouTube or Vimeo. The fourth element I like to add here are the clean links or buttons to my book over on Amazon. Again, I will make sure to share an example of one of my special launch pages with you in the description below so you can take a look yourself. And what you will find is that I like to include the clean direct links to my book's Amazon pages in the US, the UK, Germany, Canada, and Australia, because those will be different depending on where our launch team members are located geographically. If you're not sure what I mean by clean links and how to create these direct clean links, I have added a separate video on this below. Using clean links is really important, so make sure you're watching that separate video if you haven't yet. Now, I usually use the links that go to my ebook format of my book. Which format you have your links go to is absolutely up to you. The reason I personally use my ebook is because it's usually a lot cheaper than any of my other formats, if not free, if I enroll my book into KDP Select. That way, my launch team can actually download my book. And the reason why this might be helpful, even though my launch team has already watched my read aloud video, is that when they download my book, book first before reviewing it, it will make their review a verified one. Meaning below or next to their review, it will show others that they have indeed purchased this book. Now, both types of reviews, verified or non-verified, are helpful and great to have. But because people can leave reviews for books or any other product for that matter, even if they have not purchased them, Amazon always prefers and therefore tends to show verified reviews before all others. And if our launch team members want to purchase our book in a different format, they can always click over and select that preferred format very easily since our book sales page should show all the different available formats on one and the same sales page. And the fifth element I like to add are the direct review links to make it as easy as possible for our launch team members to leave their review. This link leads directly to our book's review page over on Amazon. That way, our launch team members won't have to first find our book on Amazon scroll all the way down to the review section of our book and click the leave a review button for our book. And just like with a clean link to our book, I like to have a direct review link to my book's Amazon pages in the US, the UK, Germany, Canada, and Australia, because again, those will be different depending on where our launch team members are geographically located. And again, if you haven't watched my separate video on how to create such a direct review link, I've added it to the description below. So these are the five main elements I like to include on my special launch pages. Now, in the beginning of this video, I mentioned I'd share a few different options with you in case you don't have your own website. If you do have your own website, perfect. You should be able to create your very own special launch page by adding these different elements I just shared with you. If you do not have your own website, I wanted to share two options with you. 
Option one would be to simply create a new and completely free website. Free meaning that we wouldn't have to pay any monthly or annual hosting fees like other websites require us to do. So if you have been wanting to create or set up your own author website anyway, or have been planning to do so, then that might be a great way to go. And to help you with that, I have added a link to a separate video for you on how to do just that in the description below. And option two would be a much more simplified version of our special launch page, but still a great option nonetheless. And that's to make use of a link sharing service such as Linktree. Now here again, I actually have a separate video that shares a number of different such services that allow us to create just one page that we can add links to. So I'll make sure to add that video to the description below. The only drawbacks here with these types of pages are that one, the layout and look of that page is quite limited. And two, at the making of this video, I only know of one such service that allows us to add videos for free. And that would be a service called link.bio. That's not a typo, that's lnk.bio. This one is the only one that lets us embed videos with their free version. Other link sharing services also have this option, but only if we're upgrading to their paid version. So if you don't already have your own author website, these are two great alternatives. All the links I mentioned in this video are in the description below, including a link to one of my own such special launch pages so you can see what it looks like in action. I hope you found this video really helpful for your own launch team. As always, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. And if you would like to support me, it would mean so, so much to me if you'd take a moment to review my newest book. This truly is one of the kindest and most thoughtful ways to show your support for my work that I hope is so helpful to you every single week. I've added the link to it below this video, which is my special launch page I have shared with you. Here's to your very own special launch page for your beautiful children's book. Bye.